Good morning, squad. Um, so we are out, we are yard selling, and I thought we would just take you guys along for the day and just kind of tell you what we experience and all of that stuff. Um, I thought we would start out with our outfits. Um, I asked Emily if there was anything that she was wearing that is a yard sale find. Um, the only thing I'm wearing that was a yard sale find are these earrings. Uh, I mentioned them in my summer favorites, but I forgot to put a clip to show them. So these are them. I think I paid 50 cents for them at a sale we went to together. My shirt is thrifted um, and my pants are not. They were from an <laughs> after Christmas sale at Kohl's, which is still inexpensive, but not secondhand, so it doesn't count. Um, I truly can't remember which is thrifted and which is not, but at least my jacket, my shirt, and my pants are all either thrifted or yard sale. It's pretty good. So we've already been to our first sale. We are headed to some more. This first one was kind of tough because it was someone that I knew. Um, Abram picked out three items and they really were just little inexpensive things. I probably would have paid a quarter each for them. So 75 cents total. Um, she asked $2 and I felt bad bargaining because I knew her and knew her family so we paid two dollars and I got a set of glasses um, we saw the same set of glasses that my mom has and so I bargained for two dollars for the whole set so I think that was 16 glasses and I also got a stainless steel spatula that I've been looking for so Kelly actually found that she knew I was looking for it and so I got all that together for two dollars it's another advantage of going with a friend is after you go a couple times you know what you're looking for you can help each other out community sale with kids. Going to yard sales with kids is totally different than going to yard sales without kids. So um, a couple of tips is to be practical with what you let your kids buy. You know, tell them that they can pick out some things, but also provide some healthy limitations. Also, we are at a community sale, like I said, so there are quite a few sales. If we don't see toys, we don't see kids items, automatically the kids don't get out of the car. And we will either run there and right back or we'll kind of tag team and Emily will go and then I will go. So that's what she's doing now. And uh, then I'll go see if there's anything that I want. So something that's really important to look for with yard sales is the descriptions of things. Like if you're looking on Facebook Marketplace, um, what are the descriptions of the yard sale? Sometimes it'll just say yard sale and that doesn't give you much, but the one that we're going to now says garage items, girls clothes, shoes, everything baby, movies, home decor, kitchen items, women clothes, um, beach chairs, air fryer, Roomba. So it gives a lot of description. So that lets us know that it's probably gonna be a pretty good one. So we'll let you know. All right, we have good signs, we have balloons. This is what you want. Okay, we are back home and it's a couple of days later and I just want to show you the things that we got. Most of the things that we got were things that Abram wanted. Uh, I didn't really limit him today on picking out one thing. We just had a good time and as long as things were reasonably priced, I let him pick out a few things. So I'll start over here. Like I said at that first place, I paid a little more than I wanted to just because I knew them and I knew their family. So I was totally fine. So these things cost me two dollars for all of them so he picked out this little kellogg's soccer bowl and i don't know if he wants to use it in our kitchen or in his play kitchen but there's that and then he picked out a ketchup bottle to add to their little play kitchen we're just adding things to that all the time it's really fun and then this is a bell it looks like it's got two candy canes 
and a little bow at the top and it says 1991 on it. Like I said, you know, none of these are really things that we needed, but it's just something that Abram wanted. The second thing we found was a calculator and I think we paid a quarter for it. Pretty much everything I got today was either free or a quarter minus these things here. Uh, but I'll insert a video of it here. Abram's been playing with it nonstop and he's been typing in numbers and asking me about numbers. So it's been a fun little thing for him to have. The next stop was probably my favorite stop because of these. I found these Wonder Nation shoes. So I think that is a Walmart brand, but they really are in just about brand new condition. They are Andy's size. So I'm hoping that she'll get some good wear out of those this fall going into the winter time. And I asked if they would take a quarter and they said yes. So I got these for a quarter. Now, as far as my September secondhand scavenger hunt challenge, if this fits my mom, then this is going to be my buy for someone else. I found this time and true top that ties at the bottom. It's like a waffle weave and I just thought it was nice. I don't know if it's going to work for her and, or not. It may end up being too big, but if it fits, I'm going to use that as my something for someone else and that was a quarter. Abram found this little fan at a sale and he asked if they would take a quarter and Pretty much if a child asks you for a price, you're probably going to bargain with them because they're just cute. And so I think it was priced for 50 cents or a dollar and they gave it to us for a quarter. It does work. So just a cute little something that he wanted. And then the last thing was this little pop gun. Um, it is from Cabela's. I'm going to see if I can find the retail price of it and compare it here. Um, they actually just gave this to us for free. There were a lot of kids at that sale that were selling their things. And the little boy was so cute. He just kept wanting to give Abram things. So we got this. But you can see it has some marker on it. I'm going to play around with a few different things and see if I can get that marker off. If not, it's not a huge deal, but I'm going to mess around with it a little and see if I can take maybe some rubbing alcohol or I don't know, something and see if I can get that off. So I did go with Emily and she found a few things. So I'm going to let her share her finds also. This week at Yard Sales, I only got a few items, but I'm really excited about the things I got. Buying clothes can be risky at Yard Sales because you don't know if they're going to fit, but I actually got lucky this week. The pants are um, really stretchy and I can wear them to work. I'm excited about that. I already tried them on and they fit great, thankfully. The black dress doesn't fit as well as I'd like, but I think I'm gonna keep it because I don't currently have a black dress in my wardrobe and I think that's a good thing to have. And then I got a whisk. Our whisk just broke and so that was on my list to get a new one. And also on my list has been a stainless steel spatula. So I actually didn't spot that. Kelly spotted it. She knew it was on my list. So it pays to go with somebody that you know. I had one more find this weekend at yard sales and that's a set of 16 drinking glasses. So I saw the glasses. I knew that they were the same set that my mom has. I was able to get those plus the stainless steel spatula for $2. I got each of the clothes for 50 cents and then I got the whisk for 25 cents. So altogether, I spent $3.25 this weekend. Okay, so just some good old cotton balls and rubbing alcohol. Can you see where I've been and where I haven't? but definitely an improvement.